Yeah, you heard me right. I no longer VLOOKUP. Ever since Excel came up with ExcelCup function, I have stopped using VLOOKUP altogether. In this video, let me introduce the ExcelCup function to you, showcase how you can use ExcelCup to solve a business problems and replace your VLOOKUPs as well as the index match functions in Excel. Let's go. Here is the sample data we will use to understand ExcelCup. This is my employee data from Awesome Chocolates. And let's just say I want to find out the start date of employee ID AC07. We will set up the input cell here in N5 and then I want to find out the start date. First, let's use the VLOOKUP function. VLOOKUP that value. For VLOOKUP, we need to select the entire table array and it can only look up on the leftmost column. So here I can only do a lookup on the employee ID and then get the corresponding value. And then the value that we want is the start date, which is one, two, three, four, five, sixth column. So we'll type six here, and then we will also have to specify false for an exact match. We'll get the start date. Usually this date will come up in the number format, but if you apply the date formatting, you will see that AC07 started on 1 Jan 2019. We can quickly double check that here. Now the same formula in XLOOKUP becomes really simple. We'll say XLOOKUP, lookup value is still N5, but now instead of selecting the entire table, you select the column in which you want to look up. So the lookup column is my employee ID and then the return column is my date. So we select both of these columns. Notice how the formula is mentioned N5 and we are only selecting column C and column H. So the lookup will happen on the column C and the return will come from H6. And that's all. You don't need to specify anything else. You don't have to say approximate or exact match. By default, Excel lookup will always give you the exact match. And again, we will get the answer in number format. With date formatting, it will work like this. The key difference between Excel lookup and VLOOKUP is that with Excel lookup, we will have to select specify which column the lookup needs to happen and which column the result needs to come from. Because of this, XLOOKUP becomes so much more flexible. Let's say I want to ask the reverse question. That is, I will have a start date and I want to know which employee started on that date. So here is my start date. I want to know which employee joined on 2nd of April 2018. Now, with VLOOKUP, we are not able to answer this question at all simply because the way our data is set up. I have date. So given a date, I could, for example, find their FTE or employee type, but not the ID with VLOOKUP. So normally we would end up using either index match formula or some other complex trick. Whereas with XLOOKUP, we'll get the answer straight away. So we will get their name, employee name, XLOOKUP, look up the value in N12. The lookup array is a start date and the return array will be name like this. Notice how we have flipped the columns now. We are looking up in column H and getting the value from column D. We'll get the answer as McKinsey Hannis. Let's quickly double check this. So 2nd of April is here. McKinsey Hannis is listed there. Another advantage of XLOOKUP is that it gives you a default value in case the value is missing. So for example, here we have McKinsey Hannis joined on 2nd of April 2018. Let's just change this to 3rd of April. We don't have anybody, so we'll get the employee name as hash NA. But using the XLOOKUP's fourth parameter, if not found, I can give a value here to print. So we could, for example, say no one joined on that date, and that will be the output value here. Whereas with VLOOKUP, we don't have such an option. So if I look for employee number AC99, we'll get hash NA. To fix this error, we will have to use if error and then say no such ID here. So we would end up using two formulas, both VLOOKUP and if error. Whereas with XLOOKUP, I can give if not found op option directly. While XLOOKUP is really powerful, it is only available in Excel 365 and Excel Online. So if you are using a version of Excel that doesn't have XLOOKUP, then the suggestions for you are you can use index match or you can use the VLOOKUP. I've got videos on both of these topics, so please check the video description for that information. XLOOKUP also works very well with tabular data. 
so far we have been dealing with data in the cell ranges but here in this tab i have got a table of data same data really but now this table is named staff so let's see how to get the answer of a given employee id with xlookup so we'll again look up for ac07 and i want their name so here i can say xlookup lookup value is c6 and lookup array here i can specify my staff table open bracket and then select employee id column likewise i want to get their name so i can again type that or i can point to the column in the table staff name and i'll get lena Bruksha here another advantage of xlookup is we could also use it to do wildcard searches to be honest even vlookup can do it but because xlookup gives you so many better options of working with data i'm going to demo this functionality with xlookup so let's say i want to find out the name that begins with bill we'll set up an input cell begins with and then type bill here so this is my input value and i want to find out their starting date so we can again use xlookup like this xlookup lookup value begins with bill so we'll say bill ampersand and within double quotes star that means we want to look up for bill and then anything afterwards the lookup array will be in the name column so we'll select the table name column and then the return needs to be their start date so we'll select the start date now this is the important bit we need to specify the match mode which is the fifth parameter for we look up or sorry x look up so here by default it is exact match but because we are doing a wild card search we need to specify this as number two which is wild character match and then this will give you a date if you apply date formatting we'll see this as 29 jan 2019 this is for billy falgate as i said we could kind of do this with vlookup so i'm gonna quickly show you how to do this with vlookup so vlookup again bill ampersand star and then this time because we are looking up on the name column our table needs to be from name to rest of it we'll just pick up to date alone so name to date and then the return needs to be one two three four five fifth column and then false we'll still get the answer 29 jan 2019 another advantage of xlookup is it can return multiple values and this is a really powerful application of xlookup let me quickly demonstrate that for this we need a little bit room here so i'm just going to insert few columns for this example i'm going to look up ac07 and then get their entire employee record that full row of information so we will say xlookup look up ac07 in the staff table employee id column and then the return array instead of selecting a single column we can select the entire table so i'll just say staff the whole table and then close the bracket what this formula does is it will return the entire row of information for ac07 so it will give their entire record here and in excel 365 it now offers the spill behavior because there are multiple values it will automatically go across on the screen let's say for certain purpose you don't want these values to go across the screen you want them to go down you can then take this xlookup so we'll say xlookup ac07 staff employee id and then staff table so instead of just writing the xlookup like that you can put this into transpose func function so transpose of that xlookup and then it will print the employee record downwards on the screen another reason to use xlookup is it works in horizontal data as well if you have data like this you can only use hlookup in excel older versions but with xlookup you don't need hlookup also so for example if i want to know what is happening to ac07 i can just say xlookup lookup value is this and then lookup array is my horizontal range and then the return array is i can just select these two columns so that i can see what's happening to their courses so ac07 is enrolled in the course crc4 and they have not started it how beautiful is this now that you know about xlookup you may be tempted to learn what else is out there 
My suggestion to you is understand how to use the filter function. If you think XLOOKUP is awesome, the filter function is gonna blow your pants off. It is truly amazing. Check out the video that is linked on the screen and learn about the filter function. I'll catch you there. Bye-bye.